Continuing my rebuild of the ZX81 game cabins, never released on the ZX81. In the last video I got the main character moving around. I've done some more work on this part of the uh, game now. So kicking off. The spaceship comes in. And the character can move around. You see now I've got the uh, scoring hooked up. So... Um, for example, the stars, you get um, 100 points for those. Um, the mithril, you get 1,000 points for those. At the moment, there's no uh, death sequence. So at the moment, I've just got trapped there. So I'll try that again. Um, so the game's starting to look uh, on this first sheet how it actually would be in the finished version. So the idea is you've got to pick up three mithrils and when you've done that you can then escape from from that cavern and uh, go back to your spaceship and take off. So the game is starting to come together now. Um, so the main work that I did in the last uh, sort of session um, was to add um, scoring. Um, so this is um, my scoring assembly file. Um, the main entry point to this is ink score and you pass in um, in the A register um, a value from 0 to uh, 6 and what that does is, is it will uh, increment that digit. Uh, so rather than doing any sort of complicated maths um, or having to do any sort of division by 10 to output the value, I'm just, um, the scoring just increments. Um, so for the grey characters, it would increment by one. For the um, jewels or stars, maybe 100. And they throw maybe 1,000. I'm not quite deciding how that's going to work yet. But that's the basic idea. Uh, and I think I did it like that originally, uh, on the original game, just to make things a bit easier. Um, so then you've also got a reset score um, piece of code that just sets everything to zero when the when the sheet starts off, and then the other piece of code that I've added is um, a game state uh, piece of assembler, and the idea of this is really just to have um, routines that you can call. Uh, so I would just say for this one, call set game state to transition. Uh, and in the assembly, I can see clearly what's happening there, rather than having um, like a bunch of uh, magic numbers in the sort of hidden away in the code. Uh, so it's just it's a bit like classes, just to make things a bit easier um, to read. Um, so that's where I'm at uh, right now. Uh, I'll probably going to next go on to the um, the death sequence because um, at the moment the character can't can't die. Uh, so that's that's my next uh, that's my plan for the next thing to do. Thanks for watching.